Bom 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 Hey guys, it's Mirage with another Photoshop tutorial and this time we are going I'm going to show you how to do an Indiana Jones type logo text effect or whatever you like to call it but this is basically what we're doing and if you have no idea what I'm talking about we're going to be creating that and first off uh, I recommend that you get the font it's free and the way that I found out about that font is by Google search um, it's called SF Dora or something like that but I found it by searching Indiana Jones font and I think like the first one you download is going to be the right one and it's called SF Dora so once you have that we're going to jump back right into Photoshop if when you install the font and let's get started first click file and then new create a new document you can set to whatever you uh, want but I'm just going to keep it at 600 by 600 and I'm going to press ok I'm going to change the background color to um, that dark brown it gives a good feel an Indiana Jones feel to your text um, so once you have that also we're going to start writing our text now when you start our text um, you want to start from the last letter to the first letter so I'm going to write J first and then I'm going to write uh, A and then R Whoops, I and then finally M. Now you can you Indiana Jones has a uh, two word phrase. Um I'm just going to work with one word right now due to the time limit. But it's basically the same thing except you just add it, like you just combine the two. Uh, you'll know what I mean if you don't follow me right now, but by the end of the tutorial you'll see so we have our text now now we want to add our effect so you want to right, cl right click on one of the text layers you want to click blending options and then you want to click on gradient overlay and you want to choose one of the uh, three gradient ones because if you see it goes from a dark orange to a yellow to a white so whoops so you're going to change that to white the middle color to yellow yellow and the top color to a dark orange that should be good now you want to move it up and down according to how you like it as you can see there is more yellow than the orange so we will change that and mostly I'm going to make the orange a little bit darker there we go so I'm going to move the yellow closer to um, the white and the orange more and scale it up and then I'm going to move it up bring more orange in move it up again and there we go now 
it's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's basically how you uh, see it as. So if you if you go back here, you see there's like a small black stroke around each letter of um, the text. So we're going to add a stroke. And what a stroke is, is basically it's an outline. And I'm going to, we don't want it too big of a stroke, or because that's what happens, it turns into like a circle, blur type of shape. I'm going to keep it around uh, 3 or 2. Keep it at 2. And then we want to click drop shadow. Full opacity on normal with zero size. And we want to change the angle to around 30, uh, 30 degrees. Put up the distance. And that should be good. I'm actually going to make the background layer a little bit lighter, that way you guys can see uh, the shadows more. There we go. And that should be good. I'm going to right click the M, click copy layer style. I'm going to click on I, hold shift and all the way to the last letter. Right click those layers and just click paste layers and now automatically the same effect goes on to the rest of the lettering. Now we just want to space our letters around. And if you see with the name Jones, the font size for each one um, lowers and some of them are overlapping, some are not. And what it's basically doing is creating like an oval type of shape. Like if it was to continue, it would spin around basically. So we will shrink the size of the eye, and I will make that about 100 points. And that should be good. To the R, since we did 100, I'll make this 90. I'm just shrink it by 10 each time and you don't want it to be on the same level just a little bit up so it creates that um, curve and you don't want to put it too up it's just a slight bit and then the A since we made the last one 90 this one's going to be 80 And I guess I will overlap the A over the R. So you just want to put A over the R layer. Like that. And then just overlap it. And I will actually shrink that a little bit so. 75% and then the J which I will make about 60 points and keep that um, I don't know if I should do it over the A it's basically all just like experimenting then but I'll keep it under Maybe move the eye up a little bit. And then rest the letters on too. And there we have it. That's how you create an Indiana Jones type font. I mean, not font. Uh, text effect, logo, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty simple um, and easy to do. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, look out for some more. Peace.